Everyone knows the story of Mowgli, but not so many people know that even in real life, children are sometimes raised by animals. And while there aren't many such stories, they are definitely worth hearing. From the boy who was raised by monkeys to the Indian raised by a pack of wolves, in this episode, I'll show you real people who got raised by animals. They're one in a billion. John Sabunya In 1988, four-year-old John Sabunya from Uganda witnessed a violent argument between his parents. John couldn't stand it. He ran away from home into the woods, where he stayed for a long time. As time passed, John continued to live in the woods, although no one knew about it, so the locals began to think that the boy was no longer alive. In 1991, one of the locals went into the woods for firewood and saw a strange creature in a flock of vervet monkeys, in which she did not immediately recognize John. The guy behaved the same way as the monkeys. He was moving on all fours, climbing trees, and even communicating with the primates. The woman reported what she saw to the villagers, and they tried to catch John to bring him back to civilization. As is often the case with the children who got raised by animals, John resisted in every way not letting himself to be picked up, but the villagers managed to wrestle him away from the monkeys. When they washed him up, one of the villagers recognized him as the boy who'd gone missing in 1988. It took a long time for John to regain consciousness, get used to society, and learn to speak. The boy said that the monkeys taught him everything he needed to live in the jungle, climbing trees and finding food. In addition, John mastered their language. Fortunately, John successfully adapted to normal life now the grown-up Ugandan Mowgli is touring with the children's choir, the Pearl of Africa. Shandio The story of an Indian boy named Shandio became known in 1972. That was the year he was found in the Indian jungle. As it turned out, he was about four years old at the time. When the boy was found, he was living his normal life, which included playing with wolf cubs. Yes, the child had been raised by wolves. This was indicated not only by the unusual games, but also by the boy's appearance. Shamdio's skin was very dark and his teeth were pointed. He had long hooked fingernails, tangled hair, and calluses on his hands, elbows, and knees. But that's not all. Shamdio actively hunted chickens, ate soil, and loved blood. And of course, Shamdio was able to communicate with wolves. When the child was rescued from the jungle, he was able to socialize partially. The boy didn't learn to speak, but learned sign language. In civilization, Shamdio continued to demonstrate his animal habits and features. For example, he got on well with dogs and even talked to them. Unfortunately, the wolf boy's life was short. In 1985, the Indian passed away. Marina Chapman In 1954, a five-year-old girl from Colombia named Marina Chapman was kidnapped. She was taken from a remote village in South America and abandoned in the jungle. Many children would have become victims of nature under such conditions, but Marina was lucky. She was raised by capuchin monkeys. She lived with a family of primates for five years until hunters found her. Fortunately, Marina was able to socialize, so she later described her life in the wild. She said she ate berries, roots, and bananas, slept in tree hollows, and moved around on all fours like monkeys. According to Marina, the monkeys only taught her how to hunt but did not feed her on her own. Thanks to her dexterity and resourcefulness, Marina managed to learn how to survive and the capuchins eventually began to treat her as a congener. Marina's story is one of the most unusual of its kind. When she told it to the world, most people didn't believe her. They even forced her to undergo x-rays to determine whether she had really been malnourished and lived in the wild. The test results confirmed her story. Marina Chapman now lives in Yorkshire with her husband and two daughters. Marina Chapman was lucky in that, in the end, she was able to socialize and became a normal person. But that's not always the case. Stay tuned to see a girl raised by animals who was never able to fit into society and returned back to the wilderness. You'll also see a guy who got raised by chickens and people who were sheltered by dogs. Let's move on. Rocham Penang in 2007, a female Mowgli was found in Cambodia. She had a wild appearance, walked hunched over, and couldn't speak articulately. Instead, she made noises resembling the roar of mooing animals. When news about the girl spread across the country, it was determined that she was Rochog Penang. Her parents identified the girl from a scar on her arm that she got as a child. 
As it turned out, the girl went missing back in 1989 when she was eight years old. While driving a buffalo through the woods, Rocham disappeared along with her sister. The sister was never found and Rocham was found 18 years later. The parents then welcomed Rocham back into the family where the Mowgli girl lived for three years. During that time, she was never able to learn the local language and she was unable to tell exactly who she grew up with in the woods. In addition, Rocham was unable to socialize. She continued to crawl and walk hunched over, refused to wear clothes, and was afraid of people. Moreover, the girl began to look even worse than when she lived in the wild. In 2010, Rocham escaped into the woods, where she felt much more comfortable. To date, nothing is known about the fate of the Mowgli girl, but it's possible that now Rocham is alive and feels really happy with the animals. Sujit Kumar Children Raised by Monkeys Children Raised by Wolves All of these stories are amazing but not too original. And what about the child who was raised by chickens? Yes, these birds can raise a human too. And Sujit Kumar is a great example. This boy from Fiji was nicknamed the Chicken Boy and for good reason. In 1978, when Sujit was eight years old, he was found on the street. The boy was roosting and waving his hands to imitate a rooster. To make matters worse, his fingers were twisted from picking at the ground. He pecked at food, jumped up in the air, and imitated the behavior of chickens. Sujit couldn't talk, just clicked his tongue rapidly. As it turned out, the reason for this behavior was terrible. Sujit's mother had committed suicide and his father had passed away early, so his grandfather became the child's guardian. He promised to take care of Sujit, but instead he locked him up in the poultry coop. It's not known why he decided to commit such a savage act, but fortunately, about eight years later, Sujit managed to escape from the coop. Sujit was picked up by social workers and taken to a shelter. It would seem that the boy's suffering was over, but no. At the shelter, they treated him just as cruelly. The staff saw that Sujit was being extremely aggressive and decided to tie him to the bed. The boy lived in these conditions for 20 years. It wasn't until Sujit was about 30 years old that he was rescued from the shelter by Elizabeth Clayton, who's been taking care of him ever since. Oksana Malaya Oksana Malaya, a girl from Ukraine, had a very difficult childhood. She was born into a family of careless parents who constantly drank. When Oksana was three years old, her parents abandoned her in the yard. In search of warmth, the three-year-old crawled into the barn, curled up among the yard dogs, and fell asleep. It saved her life. Either her parents had completely forgotten about their daughter, or Oksana subconsciously realized that it was dangerous to return home to her mother and father. But the girl lived with the dogs for about six years. In 1991, when Oksana was eight years old, she was found at the kennel. When the girl was found, she was running on all fours, breathing with her tongue out, baring her teeth, and barking. Of course, the girl couldn't speak. Because she ended up in a pack of dogs at a very young age, she knew only two words, yes and no. Moreover, Oksana ate and bathed the same way that dogs do. After the rescue, Oksana Malaya was removed from her parents and placed in a clinic where the girl dog was rehabilitated, taught to speak, and introduced to society most of her behavior problems were solved. Oksana learned to speak fluently, however, she could not fully recover. Even after 30 years, the woman still suffers from some disorders. Since 2001, Oksana has been living and working in a nursing home, taking care of cows and horses. Ivan Mishikov While Oksana Malaya was simply forgotten about by her parents, Ivan Mishikov ran away from home on his own. Ivan had always been a burden to his family, so when he was four years old, he decided to run away from home. For a while, the boy lived on the street and begged. Eventually, Ivan became attached to a pack of stray dogs. They kept the boy warm in the cold, and Ivan shared the food he managed to get with them. The dogs began to trust him, and eventually, he became something of a pack leader. You can say that the dogs raised Ivan, although he didn't live with them for very long. Two years later, police officers found Ivan and removed him from the pack. After that, he was sent to an orphan home. Mishikov's story is different from many others in this episode because Ivan didn't live in the wild. Moreover, he actively used speech when begging, so he didn't have to learn to speak. The orphan home staff was only focused on bringing Ivan back to society. Because Mishikov was wild only for a short time, it accelerated his recovery. Now the boy is living a normal life. He says he's grateful to the stray dogs because without them, 
he'd hardly have lasted on the street. At the same time, Ivan thanks the police for removing him from the wild pack in time. That's all guys. Which of these stories surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later.